good morning students i'm your computer science lecturer shweta ma'am welcome back to my channel students in the last class we are discussed about the different uh, primary memory devices right and also i will give the introduction about secondary memory the secondary memory we are also called as an auxiliary memory why the secondary memory is needed in the primary memory it is having less storage capacity and it does not hold the data permanently so that's why the secondary memory is required so this secondary memory is having a larger capacity than the main memory and it will retain the information once it will stored permanently so the secondary memory is classified into three types the three types of secondary memories are magnetic disks optical disk and usb flash devices first we go for the magnetic disk you know what is the structure of magnetic disk right so there are two magnetic disks are available in the series they are hard disk and floppy disk first we move to the hard disk the most common physical device can be used in a computer for storing the files is called hard disk so each and every computer is having a built in secondary storage device that is called hard disk that hard disk is a common physical storage device it is used to store the files the hard disk contains several rotating disk plates which are permanently enclosed in it so hard disk contains several rotating disk plates which are permanently enclosed in it the surface of the plates are covered by metal oxide in the hard disk each and every disk uh, the surface uh, of the plates are covered by the metal oxide so it uses electromagnetic uh, recording heads the hard disk uses electromagnetic recording heads to perform read and write operation read and write operation means input and output operation the hard disk is used electromagnetic recording heads to perform input and output operation there is one head for each surface and all the head moved together so each and every uh, sorry each and every disk is having the rotating head pins so that head pins can be used to perform the read and write operation that it pay, uh, the disk is rotating at the time the heads rotating heads it is perform either read or write operation the hard disk uh, having several disk each disk is rotates around 7200 rotations per minute so hard disk is having several disk but the several each and every disk is rotating so the rate of the rotating speed is 7200 rotations per minute the modern hard disk normally holds so 260 gb of data memory space 1024 gb of memory space 1024 gb is equals to 1 terabyte so the modern disk normally holds the data of 1 terabyte the surface of the plate is organized as a number of concentric tracks the surface of the plate is organized as a number of concentric tracks each track is divided into sectors in the last class i will give the definition for track and sector are you remember the uh, definitions the surface uh, of the disk is divided into number of invisible concentric circles are called as tracks so the track is further divided into various sections that is called as sectors see here also in the hard disk the surface of a plate is organized as a number of concentric tracks each track is divided into sectors a set of match tracks are called cylinders so the number of concentric circles we consider as a tracks right the set of match tracks are called as a cylinder understood so this is the explanation about the hard disk i will give the points about the hard disk 
the most common physical device is used to store the files in a computer is called hard disk the hard disk contains several rotating disk plates which are permanently enclosed in it the surface of the plates are covered by metal oxide electromagnetic recording heads used to perform read and write operation there is one head for each surface and all head move together the disk rotates at around 7200 resolutions per minute the modern disks normally hold 260 gb of data 1000 gb of data or 1 terabyte of data the surface of a plate is organized as a number of concentric tracks each track is divided into sectors a set of matched tracks are called cylinders so in the exam suppose i ask explain how this pins you write these points it carries three marks or sometimes they are asked a five mark question next the other magnetic disk is a floppy disk the floppy disk is hold but uh, uh, they have put it in the syllabus uh, we are given the information about the floppy disk floppy disk contains a single flat piece of circular plate coated with metal oxide and enclosed in a plastic cover floppy disk contains a single flat piece of a circular plate coated with metal oxide and enclosed in plastic cover the floppy disk is smaller and portable it is very smaller in size you can easily port the three common sizes of floppy disks are 3.5 inches 5.25 inches and 8 inches diameter size ಇವತ್ತು ನಮಗೆ ಪ್ಲಾಪಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ಸೈಜಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅಂದರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಚಸಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲಾಪಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇದೆ ಫೈವ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟೂ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಚಸಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲಾಪಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇದೆ ಏಟ್ ಇಂಚಸಲ್ಲೂ ನಮಗೆ ಪ್ಲಾಪಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಇದೆ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಪಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಚಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಜ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಮ್ ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎಮ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಮ್ ಬಿ so this is important for one mark they are asked what is the storage capacity of normal floppy disk your answer is 1.44 mb the most commonly used floppy disk is 3.5 inches size this is having the storage capacity 1.44 mb of data the disk drives for floppy disk are called floppy drives so where we are inserting floppy disk to the cpu we required one drive right so that drive we are called as a floppy drive so we are inserting floppy drive to the cpu using one uh, port that is called as a floppy disk drive port the floppy disks are slower to access than hard disk and have less storage capacity so it is have less expensive G4. Less expensive means G4. This is about the floppy disk drive. Next, we go for the second type of the secondary storage device is optical disk. The optical disk is a random access removable disk on which data is written or and read through the use of laser beam. Optical disk is a random access movable disk. on which data is written and read through the use of laser beam so namge with optical disk random aki data na access madutte idu namge removable disk andre when uh, we were required we are attached to the computer when we does not need we are detached from the computer or we are taken out from the computer system so these are all the removable disks and uh, so the data should be write and the data should be read through the use of laser beam with the help of the laser beam the data should be read and write in the optical disks the optical disk consists of rotating disk which is coated with highly reflective material the optical disk is consisting of a rotating disk so which is coated with a highly reflective material 
data recording on the disk is done by focusing a laser beam on the surface of spinning disk which stores data as a microscopic light and dark spots on the disk surface so the data is recorded on the disk it can be done by the focusing of the laser beam on the surface of spinning disk which stores data in a microscopic light and dark spots on the disk surface the dark spots are called pits pits the dark spots on the disk uh, the dark spots can be used, represent how much of data can be stored in the uh, uh, optical devices so that dark spots are called pits the lighter non pitted surface area of the disk is called lands andre namage eshtu dark spots iruttho ashtu space alli data store agide anta namage elli a dark spots iralvo alli namage empty ide space alli data na store maadabodu anta navu easy age identify maadabodu the process of recording data on the optical disk or called burning so even the optical disk alli now data na record madonta process ana enanta karithivi burning process anta karithivi burning process means we are writing the data to the optical disks there are three different types of optical disks are available in our computer system they are number 1 cd rom number 2 dvd rom and number 3 bd rom so what are the three optical disks number 1 cd rom number 2 dvd rom and number 3 bd rom let's we move to the first optical disk has cd rom cd rom stands for compact disk read only memory cd rom stands for compact disk read only memory it is read only optical storage medium so it is only read only optical storage medium capable of holding up to 682 mb of data so cd rom is having 682 mb of data it is used only for the reading purpose means once we are write the data there is no option to erase just we are reading the data accessing of data from cd rom is quite faster than floppy disk but slower than hard disk data na computer cd in the access mode speed anna now compare madaga floppy disk rate ginta jaasti irutte adre hard disk ginta kadme irutte to read a cd rom device called cd rom drive is needed so uh, how to insert the cd to the computer we required one port right that port we are called as a cd drive so cd rom drive so that cd rom drive can be required to insert the cd to the computer the cd technology uses a near infrared laser light so even the cd namge data na read write madodakke yav ond technology na use madutte infrared laser light technology na use madkolutte there are two types of cd roms are available first one is a cd r and second one is cd or w cd or stands for compact disk readable compact disk sorry compact disk recordable so or compact disk readable once the data should be read uh, right we can read it n number of times but we can't delete the data the data should be stored permanently in cd or cd or is also called as recordable cd cd or w it is also called rewritable cd rewritable cd means suppose we have burn some data to the cd means we are write some data to the cd sometimes the data is not required we are erase and rewrite the data so that is possible when we are purchasing cd rewritable disks understood the cd is available in two types one is cd recordable and another one is cd rewritable next we move to the dvd dvd stands for digital versatile disk dvd stands for digital versatile disk it is an optical disk technology with 4.7 gb storage capacity 
ಸೊ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ನೀವು ಒಂದು ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿಯನ್ನು ನೋಡಿರ್ತೀರ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೇ ಅದ್ರ ಸೈಜ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಾರ್ಮಲಾಗಿ ಒಂದು ಸಿ ಡಿನ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಎಮ್ ಬಿ ಅಂತ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಎಮ್ ಬಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಡೇಟಾನ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಸೈಜ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಫೈ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಟು ಎಮ್ ಬಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಡೇಟಾನ ಸ್ಪೇಸನ್ನು ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಡೇಟಾನ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಇನ್ನು ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಆಟೋ ರನ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ನ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿರುತ್ತೆ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಆರ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಿಲಮ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಆರ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೂ ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಎ ಡಬಲ್ ಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಟೂ ಲೇಯರ್ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಆಡಿಯೋ ಅದರ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ಆದರೆ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಇರ್ತಿತ್ತು ಡಬಲ್ ಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಆದರೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಟೂ ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಲೇಯರಲ್ಲೂ ನಮಗೆ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಇಂಟು ಫೋರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ನೀವು ಆಗ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಟು ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಆಡಿಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದು ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ದ ಟಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಎ ರೆಡ್ ಲೇಸು ಸಿ ಡಿ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ರಾರೆಡ್ ಲೇಸು ದ ಟಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಯೂಸಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಲೇಸು ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ರೀಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡಬಲ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ರೀರೈಟಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ರೀರೈಟಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ರೀರೈಟಬಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ತರ್ಡ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಡೆಸ್ಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಬ್ಲೂರೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಬ್ಲೂರೇ ಡೆಸ್ಕ್ ರೆಫರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಲೂರೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಹೈ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ವಿತ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಟು ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಮೂವೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಬ್ಲೂರೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಲೇಯರ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಲೂರೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಡಬಲ್ ಲೇಯರ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಲೂರೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಅಂತ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಬ್ಲೂರೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಆದರೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಡೇಟಾನ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಡಬಲ್ ಲೇಯರ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಲೂರೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಜಿ ಬಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಡೇಟಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ನ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ಟು ಸೊ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಬ್ಲೂರೇ ಈಸ್ ಡಿರೈಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ವಯಲೆಟ್ ಕಲರ್ ಲೇಸ್ ಯಾಕೆ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಬ್ಲೂ ರೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಇದು ನಮಗೆ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಬ್ಲೂ ಮತ್ತು ವಯಲೆಟ್ ಕಲರ್ ಲೇಸಸಿಂದ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಡೆಸ್ಕ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೂ ರೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ವಯಲೆಟ್ ಕಲರ್ ಲೇಸ
USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. That is a port. We are used to connect the external devices or peripheral devices to the computer system. And so, so a portable storage devices PCD is a small hard drive designed to hold any kind of digital data. So any kind of digital data we are stored in that devices. It is slightly different from the portable media player which stores and play music and movies. So in the pen drive we are stored the movies, songs, right? We are play. So some of the fixed sized hard disks, hard drives or 256 GB, 320 GB, 500 GB and 1 TB. So it may be useful alternative of backing up or plugging memory cards if a computer is unavailable for downloading. Now we computer download hagilandre now even the USB a portable device store So this is about the classification of memory devices. Memory is classified into two types. One is primary memory and secondary memory. Now we are discussed what are the differences between primary and secondary memory. It is very 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 important question for 5 mark uh, in your annual exam. So primary memory is secondary memory. What are the differences are there? The first difference is the primary memory we are also called as main memory or semiconductor memory. The difference in the secondary memory, it is also called as an auxiliary memory. Understood? The primary memory we are also called as main memory or semiconductor memory. Secondary memory we are also called as an auxiliary memory. The second difference is a primary memory stores data temporarily. So the difference in secondary memory. The secondary memory stores the data permanently. And so primary memory stores the data temporarily. Secondary memory stores the data permanently. The third difference the primary memory devices are very expensive, high cost. So the difference in secondary memory, they are less expensive compared to primary. The fourth difference is the primary memory devices works faster. Primary memory devices works faster. The difference in secondary memory, these devices are slower than compared to primary memory. Next, the fifth difference is examples of primary memory or RAM, ROM. In the secondary memory, the examples are magnetic disk, optical disk, uh, USB, flash, pen drives. Magnetic disk such as hard disk, floppy disk, optical disk such as CD, DVD, Blu-ray disk. Understood? These are all the major five differences are there in primary and secondary memory. Are you clear? Next, we are more to the last concept in this chapter is catch memory. The catch memory, the word catch is pronounced as the word cash, C-A-S-H, cash. So, catch memory, sometimes we are read it as a cache memory. So, the catch memory is placed between CPU and main memory. So, other than primary and secondary memory, the computer can be used cache memory. This cache memory, we are placed between the CPU and the main memory. The computer is having CPU, right? In that CPU chamber, the main memory, RAM device and ROM device, we are connected. So, between that main memory and the CPU, so this cache memory will be placed. It is much faster than the main memory. The cache memory is a high-speed memory. So, it is uh, very fast compared to main memory. Its access time is much less compared to that of the main memory. Means, if the data is transferred from main memory to CPU for processing, it will take some time. That time will be reduced in the cache memory. The cache memory is an intermediate memory and is not accessible to users. So this cache memory we are called as the intermediate memory. It can be used by the CPU for processing the data. It cannot be used by the users. It shows instructions and data which are to be intermediately executed. 
are immediately executed what the instructions are immediately executed that instructions the cache memory can stores or can hold it is used to reduce the average access time reading data which normally stored in the main memory so the uh, cache memory can be reduced the average access time compared to the main memory the cache memory increases the speed of the operating system of computer so what is the use of cache memory it is used to increase the speed of the operating system this cache memory is much costlier than main memory see here the speed is high the size is less but the cost is very high compared to main memory so there are two levels of cache memories are available those are l1 cache memory and l2 cache memory l1 cache memory we are called as level 1 cache l2 cache we are called as level 2 cache the l1 cache memory will present inside the cpu whereas l2 cache memory will be present on the motherboard of the computer so that can be observed in the diagram so this is about the information about uh, cache memory you understand cache memory is placed between a uh, cpu and main memory a uh, cache memory is a very high speed memory it is used to increase the speed of the operating system so it will reduce uh, the average access time reading data uh, from the main memory so this cache memory can store which instructions are immediately executed in the cpu there are two types of uh, two levels of cache memories are there l1 cache memory and l2 cache memory l1 stands for level 1 cache memory will be present inside the cpu l2 cache memory stands for level 2 cache memory it will be present on the motherboard understood students it is start agidya nimge nodi it is to second chapter contents so the second chapter name is input output and memory devices almost maximum input output devices we are discussed and all the memory devices we are discussed in this chapter you re, uh, you write the notes properly in a single notebook cs notebook you maintain the notes properly and you read the entire chapter once it is important for your oral exam purpose because uh, that reduces syllabus right so there are maximum number of questions selected from the first and second chapters in this year okay give the more concentration about the chapters first and second chapters read well if you have any doubts please ask without has, having any fear okay i will clarify your doubts okay so next class i will start the new chapter and uh, uh, i will send the notes today evening and along with the notes i will send the questions regarding this chapter you try to answer those questions after you answered you take the photocopy and send it to my personal whatsapp number okay thank you students